Do you dream of living abroad but think it's too expensive? Do you want to travel the world and experience different cultures, cuisines, and lifestyles without breaking the bank? If yes, then watch this video. Hi and welcome to The Global Adventures. I'll show you 10 amazing countries where you can live comfortably on $1,000 per month or less. And I'm not talking about living in a shack or eating ramen noodles every day. I'm talking about living in nice apartments, eating delicious food, and enjoying the perks of these countries. And if you watch till the end, I have a bonus country for you that will blow your mind. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So, are you ready to discover the cheapest countries to live lavishly on $1,000 per month? Then let's go. Number 10. Thailand. Thailand is a popular and affordable destination in Southeast Asia. It has beautiful beaches, stunning temples, delicious cuisine, and friendly people. And while some big cities like Bangkok or Phuket can be expensive, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy Thailand. One of them is Chiang Rai, a small city in Northern Thailand, near Laos and Myanmar. Chiang Rai is great if you love nature and culture. It has many attractions, such as the White Temple, the Black House, the Blue Temple, and the Golden Triangle. It also has a lively night market, where you can find cheap and tasty street food, souvenirs, and entertainment. The cost of living in Chiang Rai is low. You can rent a two-bedroom apartment for under $1.500 per month, eat out for $1.02 per meal, and access excellent healthcare and infrastructure. Plus, you can easily travel to other parts of Thailand or neighboring countries. Number nine, Ecuador. Ecuador is a small but diverse country in South America. It has everything from the Andes Mountains to the Amazon Rainforest to the Galapagos Islands. It's a country that offers variety and adventure for a fraction of the cost of living in the U.S. or Europe. One of the best places to live in Ecuador is Cuenca, a colonial city in the highlands, surrounded by four rivers and beautiful scenery. Cuenca is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it has a rich history and culture. You can admire the architecture, visit the museums, and enjoy the festivals and events. Cuenca also has a large and welcoming expat community, so you won't feel lonely or isolated. You can find many activities and groups to join and make friends from all over the world. The cost of living in Cuenca is affordable. You can find a furnished apartment for $300 to $400 per month, including utilities and internet. You can also eat out for $3 to $5 per meal and use the public transportation and the healthcare system, which are cheap and efficient. Number eight, Grenada. Grenada is a tropical paradise in the Caribbean with stunning beaches, lush forests, and friendly locals. It's a country that will make you feel relaxed and happy as you enjoy the sun, the sea, and the spice. Grenada is known as the Spice Island because it produces a lot of nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, and other spices. You can smell the aroma of the spices as you walk around the island and taste them in the local cuisine, which is a fusion of African, Indian, and European influences. Grenada is also great if you love nature and wildlife. You can hike in the rainforest, swim in the waterfalls, snorkel in the coral reefs, and see the monkeys, turtles, and birds. Living in Grenada is not without challenges, though. The cost of imported goods can be high, and the public transportation can be unreliable. But if you can adapt to the island lifestyle, you will find that the benefits outweigh the drawbacks. You can rent a two-bedroom apartment for $500 to $600 per month, enjoy the low crime rate and the English-speaking population, and even apply for citizenship by investment if you want to stay permanently. Number seven, China. China offers a vast and diverse range of experiences, from the ancient to the modern, from the rural to the urban, from the east to the west. It's a country that will challenge and fascinate you as you discover its history, culture, and cuisine. And while some big cities like Beijing or Shanghai can be very expensive, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy China. One of them is Chengdu, a city in southwestern China in Sichuan province. Chengdu is great if you love food and pandas. It's the capital of Sichuan cuisine, which is famous for its spicy and flavorful dishes, such as hot pot, mapo tofu, and kung pao chicken. It's also the home of the Chengdu research base of giant panda breeding, where you can see the adorable pandas and learn more about their conservation. The cost of living in Chengdu is reasonable. 
you can rent a one-bedroom apartment for $300 to $400 per month, eat out for $1 to $2 per meal, and use the subway, the bus, and the high-speed train, which are cheap and convenient. Number six, Mexico. Mexico is a vibrant and colorful country in North America with a rich history, a delicious cuisine, and a warm hospitality. It's a country that will make you feel at home as you enjoy the music, the art, and the fiesta. And while some popular destinations like Cancun or Cabo can be pricey, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy Mexico. One of them is Tijuana, a border city in Baja, California, near San Diego. Tijuana is great if you love the sun and the nightlife. It has a sunny weather all year round and a lively nightlife scene with bars, clubs, and casinos. It also has a lot of cultural and artistic attractions, such as the Cultural Center, the Wax Museum, and the Street Art District. The cost of living in Tijuana is low. You can rent a two-bedroom apartment for $400 to $500 per month, eat out for $3 to $5 per meal, and have easy access to the U.S. and the Pacific Coast. Number five, Georgia. Georgia is a hidden gem in Europe, where you can find a unique blend of history, nature, and hospitality. It's a country that will surprise and delight you as you discover its ancient churches, its stunning mountains, and its delicious wine. And while some European countries can be very expensive, Georgia is one of the cheapest and most underrated destinations in the continent. One of the best places to live in Georgia is Tbilisi, the capital and largest city on the Kura River. Tbilisi is great if you love architecture and scenery. It has a mix of old and new buildings from the medieval fortress to the modern bridge and a beautiful view of the river and the hills. It also has a lot of cultural and entertainment options, such as the Opera House, the National Museum, and the Sulphur Baths. The cost of living in Tbilisi is low. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for $200 to $300 per month, eat out for $2 to $4 per meal, and use the metro, the bus, and the cable car which are cheap and efficient. Number four, Croatia. Croatia is a beautiful and cultured country in Europe with a stunning coastline, a rich history, and a delicious cuisine. It's a country that will enchant and inspire you as you explore its islands, its cities, and its national parks. And while some coastal towns like Dubrovnik or Split can be expensive, especially in the summer, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy Croatia. One of them is Zagreb, the capital and largest city in the north of the country. Zagreb is great if you love museums and parks. It has over 30 museums covering topics such as art, history, science, and technology. It also has over 20 parks where you can relax, exercise, or have a picnic. Zagreb also has a lot of festivals and events such as the Advent, the Animation Festival, and the Museum Night. The cost of living in Zagreb is affordable. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for $400 to $500 per month, eat out for $5 to $7 per meal, and use the tram, the bus, and the train, which are cheap and convenient. Number three, Philippines. Philippines is a tropical and friendly country in Southeast Asia with over 7,000 islands, each with its own beauty and charm. It's a country that will make you feel welcome and happy as you enjoy the beaches, the volcanoes, and the festivals. And while some islands like Boracay or Palawan can be expensive, especially in the peak season, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy the Philippines. One of them is Tagaytay, a city in Cavite, about an hour from Manila. Tagaytay is great if you love the cool climate and the stunning view of the tall volcano, the smallest active volcano in the world. You can also enjoy the fresh fruits, vegetables, and flowers that grow in the area, and visit the nearby attractions such as the People's Park, the Picnic Grove, and the Sky Ranch. The cost of living in Tagaytay is low. You can rent a two-bedroom apartment for $300 to $400 per month, eat out for $2 to $3 per meal, and join a large and active expat community, which organizes events and activities regularly. Number two, Vietnam. Vietnam offers a fascinating mix of history, nature, and cuisine in Southeast Asia. It's a country that will captivate and challenge you as you explore its temples, its mountains, and its markets. And while some cities like Ho Chi Minh or Hanoi can be busy and noisy, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy Vietnam. One of them is 
Hanoi, the capital and second largest city in the north of the country. Hanoi is great if you love street food and coffee. It has a lot of cafes, restaurants, and stalls where you can find delicious and cheap dishes, such as pho, banh mi, and spring rolls. It also has a lot of cultural and historical attractions, such as the Huan Kiem Lake, the Old Quarter, and the Ho Chi Minh Mausoleum. The cost of living in Hanoi is reasonable. You can rent a one-bedroom apartment for $300 to $400 per month, eat out for $1 to $2 per meal, and use the bus, the taxi, and the motorbike, which are cheap and convenient. Number one, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is home to some of the most amazing natural wonders in the world, in Africa. It's a country that will awe and inspire you as you witness the wildlife and the nature of this land. And while some places like Victoria Falls or Huangai National Park can be expensive, especially for tourists, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy Zimbabwe. One of them is Harare, the capital and largest city in the northeast of the country. Harare is great if you love the mild climate and the friendly people. It has a lot of parks, gardens, and museums where you can relax, learn, and have fun. It also has a lot of markets, shops, and restaurants where you can find cheap and quality products, such as crafts, clothes, and food. The cost of living in Harare is very low. You can rent a two-bedroom apartment for $300 to $400 per month, eat out for $2 to $3 per meal, and take advantage of the low cost of living. Bonus. And now, for the bonus country. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. The bonus country is Portugal. Yes, Portugal. You might be wondering, how can Portugal be a cheap country to live on $1,000 per month or less? Well, it's true. Portugal is one of the cheapest and most underrated countries in Europe, where you can live the European dream on a budget. Portugal has everything you need to live a high quality of life. A sunny climate, a rich culture, a delicious cuisine, and a stunning coastline. And while some cities like Lisbon or Porto can be more expensive, there are other options where you can live on a budget and still enjoy Portugal. Some of the best places to live in Portugal are Coimbra, a university city in the center of the country where you can rent a one-bedroom apartment for $400 to $500 per month. Algarve, a coastal region in the south of the country, where you can rent a two-bedroom apartment for $500 to $600 per month. And Madeira, an island in the Atlantic Ocean, where you can rent a one-bedroom apartment for $300 to $400 per month. In any of these places, you can eat out for $5 to $10 per meal and join a welcoming expat community, which will make you feel at home. And that's it, folks. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Which of these countries would you like to live in and why? Have you ever lived in any of these countries or visited them? What was your experience like? I would love to hear from you. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family who might be interested in living abroad on a budget. And of course, subscribe to my channel, The Global Adventures, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos where I will show you more amazing places around the world and how to live your best life abroad. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.